Whether you're writing a short research paper or working on a dissertation, it's essential that you keep what you find organized. And you need to be able to properly cite what you find. So how can Zotero help? We will show you in three quick steps. Search, select, and cite. And this is just a short video to give you a taste of how awesome Zotero is. See the additional Zotero videos for details on how to install and use it. Step one to using Zotero is to search. This can be in a library database, the library catalog, or really anywhere online. We're in an EBSCO database here called CINAHL, where I've searched on my topic and I've found a few articles I want to keep. Step two is to select. So then I click on the handy icon up here in the URL bar. It looks like a little folder. And then I tell Zotero which articles I'd like to save. You can select all of them, or you can just select one at a time and then click OK. Zotero will save them into a folder that I've created beforehand. It will also pull in a PDF copy of the article if it's available. Once the articles are in Zotero, I select the ones that I want to include in my reference list, then I right click, select Create Bibliography, select my citation style, copy to clipboard. Step three is to cite. So bring up your Word document, or a PowerPoint, or your Google Doc, or wherever you need to include your references, and then click on the Paste button, or Control v There you are. It's not magic, it just looks that way. If you think Zotero is right for you, feel free to go through the in-depth tutorials found on the Zotero page on the Idaho State University Libraries website. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.